Hi, I'm Mike Wong. And I'm John Kimball. And we are back at Rock West for part two. Last time we actually made some pre-preg plates. You debagged them. Yep. Actually, what I noticed is these edges are really smooth. What happened? Right, well, so we trimmed them up. The edges can be kind of sharp sometimes. A question I have for you, something about carbon fiber plate that is very unique is the layup. Right. How fiber orientation is actually laid down on the panels. Correct. It's important to stiffness. We can orient the fibers in the direction that we want the stiffness to be. So a carbon fiber is actually almost like a support beam. Correct. We have the two panels here that we made. Remember this one is the unidirectional panel. We have six plies. Four of the plies went in the zero direction and only two plies went in the 90 direction. We can just do a simple little bend test. This will demonstrate how stiff it is in the zero direction versus the 90 direction. Layman's terms, basically the majority of our support structures of the fibers are running this direction. Correct. So we'll just clamp it down to the table here on the edge. If we just put some pressure on it, we can see that it's pretty stiff. All right. So um, that probably weighs about a half pound. Yeah. We can see how much it deflects. And all the fibers, again, are running this way, so that's going to make our stiffness stiff in that direction. A rotate at 90 degrees. Now this one, the direction is going this way, so we should see quite a bit of stiffness change. Oh, wow. Way more flexible. Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. That's just 50% less fibers in one direction. So depending on the application that you need the panel for, you can change the orientation of the fibers. Right. This is our fabric isotropic plate. This one was six plies again, uh -huh. but all the plies are laid up in a 0-90 configuration, which means each ply has a 0 and a 90 fabric in it already, and then we just laid those on top of each other for six plies. What we should see here is that both directions, it will be basically the same stiffness. So you can see that's pretty stiff. So now we'll move it 90 degrees and we see about the same result. All right. In the zero and the 90, it's the same deflection. Hey, thanks for explaining that, John. Yeah.